So some of the most common myths around ADHD include the idea that kids just grow out of it. And we know that that's simply not true. Of individuals who were diagnosed with ADHD in childhood or around the school age years, we know that 70% of them when re-seen in adolescence still have impairing levels of ADHD. And we know that about 50% of individuals will still have ADHD symptoms and traits that are impairing right into adulthood. So we do know that although what ADHD look like, looks like may change over time, that the symptoms that are most impairing persist and they include things like difficulty with attention and um, difficulty avoiding distractions, problems with organizing and planning, and these are the kinds of traits that really interfere even as individuals go into the workforce or with relationships. So although some of the traits of hyperactivity and impulsivity that are seen in really young children may go away, we know that these other traits of inattention do tend to persist and they are the ones that tend to cause impairment as individuals get older and the demands on those domains increase.